Infinite Time Series. Hello, today I'm going to continue on this technique that I show you here and you are going to figure out why the heck the polar coordinates thing instead of just having a circle here. So here I am and I'm going to do kind of the same. I have a text here, a regular text layer, so I'm going to bring in the polar coordinates effect. This one here, I'm going to apply to my text layer. And again, 100%. And I change it to rect to polar. So that's one thing. Also, we need to extend it to the edges so that it kind of collides here. The cool thing about if I disable the, the effect here, the cool thing is that I can keep adding lines to this text and you see that this works very, very well. We need to increase a little bit the scale in the Y axis because it kind of stretches the, the type so then if we apply a wave warp effect this one here you see how cool this is so that's amazing and i'm going to show you some further ideas that i have here so for example i animated with a text animator the tracking here if I disable this effect, you can see what I did. It's just a text animator working here, dealing with the tracking. So that is the space between characters. And then also, I'm going to apply the effect again. I animated the rotation. And we can make this amazing kind of effects because the rotation goes beneath these effects that are the polar coordinates and the wave warp. So yeah, you saw that we made in the previous tutorial something with a circle, but then with these two effects here, the polar coordinates and the wave warp applied to a regular text layer, you see how much cool stuff we can do. Kinetic Time Series.